EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Here we go! Eighty weapons! They'll start on the ground, ETN. 12 yards on the gain, a great start for this offense. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, right back to ETN. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. On play action, Lawrence. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And Ingram holds it in. On the move past the 40. There he goes right side. Touchdown, Jaguars. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone but from your tight end. Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Lance and the 49ers now, first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Play action, now it's Lance. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Meanwhile, Lance's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now, former six-round pick, it's Elijah Mitchell. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And to throw, it's Lance. Steps away to his left. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. Throwing on first down is Lance. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And now the Jags defense deciding to call a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ready? 
And now they'll throw with Lance. And here's Mitchell with a catch out of the backfield. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he will be very close to a first down. But I see the closed fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Lance and company going on fourth down. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he is going to have the Niners first by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Come on. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They run over center with Mitchell. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Elijah Mitchell, 34 yards. Niners respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's 23. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drop. They watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can see that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know. One big play, though, gets him right back up to that level. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, he comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Lawrence giving the ETN here on the option. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And they'll go again with ETN. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Hey, 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 hey. BTN. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Finds his tight end Ingram. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a long play. 
play. Not what you need down here. It's going to be second and goal. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. A give running right, ETN. And finding room to work, he's down to the two yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. This is kind of one of those in between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time to develop slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Robinson. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. What a stand so far defensively. And now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Well, let's see what they do. They're knocking on the door here in the second quarter. And you know what you look at on your play sheet? your two-point conversion plays because you've drawn up a number of plays football. You don't just have one or two, like six or seven. Which one do you like here? Because that's essentially what you're going for right now. That spot of the field, call one of those and go get six. Decision to go for it pays off with six points. Next up is Antoso, and that makes the score 14 to 7. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product down there? First down, here's Mitchell. Some room to maneuver. 20, 10, touchdown, 49ers. Elijah Mitchell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence. And the other thing right now, it quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And the pass is intercepted. He was looking. Picked off by the former first rider, Jimmy Ward. Yeah, he's just trying to 
throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Here we go. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Ready? A give here to Mitchell. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Right back to Mitchell. 138 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. On the handoff, Mitchell. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. The Niners will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? Part of his ability to bring tackles and his feet never stop moving. Hey, feet set, feet hold, hold. Hey, get, hey. They go play action now, Lawrence. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Let's go. Pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Lawrence. And that's going to be incomplete. Twelve seconds left. He did a foul out there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. He'll get this out to the flat. And a loose football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they have possession. And they have the 38-yard line. He was trying to do anything he could to get that final little bit for the first down. Instead, he lost the ball. Yeah, and he was short of the first down, but not by much trying his best, as you noted, to get there, sometimes that extra effort can cost you. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Following the fumble recovery, Lance complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 39. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Both these teams running through their final adjustments before they head out of the locker room. We're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, let's go back upstate to Jacksonville and Brandon Guy. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Here's McLeod from his end zone. 
And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. They have come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On well, third down, here's Mitchell. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Once again, it's Mitchell. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. On second down, here's Mitchell. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. the middle here's Mitchell and he will have the first down but he winds up paying for it pretty good 174 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work on down Lance into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Second and five now, Lawrence. And that's complete ETN out of the backfield. That's a room to run now. Touchdown, Jaguars. Travis ETN, 42 yards. Jags take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point up and good from Santoso. And we are tied at 21. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. McLeod from his end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Niners take over first and at their own 29-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They'll need to regroup after the costly interception last time. It led to a tying touchdown. 21 all is where we stand, and they've got it first and 10. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. They'll run on first down. Mitchell. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Mitchell, and he'll get it down here to the 43. On first down. It's Mitchell. And some space here. And he's going to. Inside the 30. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Up the middle they go. Mitchell. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Third quarter, all 
tied up. Second and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Mitchell. And down inside the 15 he goes. There's a first and ten at the 14-yard line. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. It's Mitchell. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Up the middle they go. Mitchell. 243 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he just continues to pummel this defense. Mitchell. Will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Ed. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Alert, alert. Now, ETN to start the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Yeah. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. They're now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Hey, over. Hey. Off the play fake. Here's Lord. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That was 26 and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On first and ten, it's ETN. And he's got some space here. And he takes him down almost all the way. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game. This one goes for 20. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? The ground game has not been neglected. That's a burst right there. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. ETN once more. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Following the pickup. We're here second and six. 
61, Max Fox, right. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a set now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Open man right side is Ingram. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third Partner, you have 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Ready, they got to get it to the 21 here on chance left to keep this one going and I think for you and me let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back cycle through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it because right here he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive we go Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here we go, got to have it. Lawrence to the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. How about them biting 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. A quick throw, not away. It's incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. ETN up the middle. And power running here down to the six-yard line. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. It'll try to pick it up. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. decision to make on the conversion seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal 
They'll run with ETN. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. Clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. At the four-yard line. Scrimmage again the four yard line and in goal. Okay. One more time with each and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Third and goal, and keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Now it's called for by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Try to run with in. And he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line. The Jaguars now will use the last of their as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. set to get this drive underway and they've got the timeouts remaining defensively so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes they'll start on the ground here on first down and oh that is gonna be a safety the goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who you don't care how you just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone but in this spot the defense was all over that play, and he motivated to stick him with a safety. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring on to try and get some hang time here. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. <laughs> 